So Sandra, do tell me about this show. Well, it's a show that we do annually. We like to have a little fun in the cold days of winter. And I'm so touched by all the time that the artists have put into this one. It's really fabulous. Looking forward to this show. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think it'll be a wild party tonight, probably. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. That's the answer is you don't. You realize that's the longest that I've gone without talking. Oh, I believe that. <laughs> that you met me. Exactly. Yeah. So do tell. The mix of technology and old school handwork. Computers helped cut the materials, but uh, it still took a lot of hands and a lot of hours to assemble all mechanically with no welds and all riveted and fit together. Um, it still has some, you know, a lot of soul to it. Yeah. That's very cool. Well, it took a lot of brawn to get it in, didn't it? A lot of brawn, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the weight, do you estimate? About 750 pounds. 750? Lord! What, about six of us were here? You were uh -huh. here too, weren't you? Yeah. No, I was having coffee. <laughs> it was about seven of us showed up and not knowing what it was going to take. Wow. But getting it tipped up and being able to catch it. Uh -huh. and, and not damage the floor. Yes. Because that is a lot of focused weight. Yes. Although spread out between four feet, I guess. Wow, very cool. Love it. So, uh, Richard, do explain to me what happens if we wind you up. Will you yodel? No. As Janie Cribbs once said, no east, no west, no Budapest, just downtown Irving, Berlin. Hello. Hello, hello. Am I at the right place? Yeah, I would say. Oh, Excuse me, are you? I didn't my hat. Yeah, there's the... Yes. Thank you. Yes, the shoes, the shoes in particular, they're... they're great. They're piecemealed together. Good cheer, and those are earrings and a little uh, watch-style face. Kind of Brilliant. glued on there. Well, we've been selling your jewelry. Uh, I heard. Yeah. It's great. And there's this one pair that needs looking at. Okay. Okay. Great. So, where's the crowd? Could you tell me who, who the artist is or who the wardrobe genius is? I'd be glad to. Her name is Patricia Francisco. She lives in Freeland and she's been a seamstress for a number of years. She does a lot of work for the cottage, a lot of wedding dresses oh, for the cottage. Yeah, Denise. Uh-huh. Denise's shop. And yeah. she's really fabulous. Quite beautiful. She put over a hundred hours of work into it and a thousand dollars in fabric. Really? Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. I guess I won't be wearing one <laughs> this year. <clears throat> It looks to be your size though, Richard. It is, it is, from the hips down. <laughs> it's really delightful, and so am I. But <laughs> there's someone uh, in the show named Robin or Rob, Robert, uh, Robert Crab, Crabs? Or Crab. <laughs> the, that, name, the name is familiar. That would be Robbie Cribs. His Cribs. pieces are back in the gallery. Is there anything of his here? Three is, pieces. Is, three pieces? Is it large enough You know, that I could? Sit on it or anything. <laughs> and is this Nick's work? Nick? Nick Woolworth. Nick Woolworth. Yes. Okay. He lived in Ecuador for a period of time and he designed uh, 
steampunk clothing while he was there. And these are his illustrations of the clothing he was designing. Ecuador. Ecuador. He was going to manufacture it in Ecuador. Mm. Um, he'll be here tonight. He's going to play the concertina, and he's going to play outside the door, which will be fun. Nice young man. I don't know whether or not you've had a chance to look at this artist's work. Uh, not really. It's not it's, my <laughs> cup of tea. It's really fabulous. It's, it has yes. all the components of steampunk. And I think a lot of time was spent at the recycling center mm. putting that together. Oh my. <laughs> does it does it elevate further? Yes. Oh. When I came up with the idea of the steampunk show, yeah. I thought that um, I would probably have to go to Seattle to mm -hmm. find us artists who sure. did steampunk art. And lo and behold, here he was right here in Whidbey Island. Jacob Bloom, mm -hmm. amazing artist. They're all digitally done, but just as creative as if they were not. It's just amazing. Can I confess, may I confess to you, that I really didn't know what steampunk was uh, <clears throat> until about um, 2.30 this afternoon. Give me some scraps. Oh, here's some humans, human scraps. I want it, I want it. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> You know what's funny? It is still warm. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's still that metal is hot off just... the press. Dave Janak, you are an incredible genius. Well, this is our sixth show. Yeah, sixth winter show. And they're always very entertaining and extremely artful. Yes. And uh, provocative. They give you a new outlook on life once you come. I recommend everyone come. I agree. I hope they come. And I hope they support the artists by purchasing some art as well. <laughs> I agree. We hope they do that too. This is Sandy. Sandra Jarvis, owner of this beautiful establishment, Museos in downtown Langley, Washington. The runtime of the show? Through February 28th. And she takes layaway. <laughs> Absolutely. Any form of payment, welcome. That's true. Even slave labor. <laughs> Sharon knows a lot about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's different on this side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. That's way cool. It's kind of confusing, you know? It disorienting. Clips, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> And it's great because the background is upside down. It distorts it very wonderfully. <laughs> and it makes these tones that are just so uh, harmonic based on the shape of the work. And, uh, howdy. <laughs> I wish he was here. He needs to light this thing. It's some, I mean, sitting here it's beautiful, but when it's going, it's so amazing. He had to replace this little light bulb in here. But he built this thing into the back of the car. It's like, look at the craftsmanship of the thing. It's all this little, 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 is the world really this, this beautiful? Is, yes, it's very rosy. This is free, too. Did you get oh, one? Wow. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. This for you. Why, thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. He 
you rob a hay. <laughs> Take one step forward. Forward? Yeah. How very fast. Yeah. Always there, yeah. go there at a certain time. Not 
that night? <laughs> hey, you Dennis. Look at that. So, did you come in from Seattle to get warm? I came in from Hood River, Oregon. Oh, Oregon. A little further afield. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Traveling together, I assume. Yeah, we thought of coming in separate cars, but we got one for carbon us. footprint thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. So, Eric, you invited them, huh? I did indeed. I'm glad they made it. They made the long track up here. <laughs> Is that a Kim Kelser? Hey, you know what? You're totally right. Yeah, it's a strong one for Yeah, it is. It's a nice one. So we made some nice rivets there. Riveting. Riveting. Tortoise shell, fake tortoise shell for making glasses. Oh, yeah. Sure. Right? On an old... Um, the pitchfork. Yep. Is that yours? Yeah. Oh, cool. You know, You're admiring it. It's a very nice piece. Thank you. And it's a cherry one. That's what I was trying to figure out with that one. I like that. It's like a cherry one. Oh, cool. There you go.
Do 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 do. You made this, right? Yes. What's your name? Patricia. Patricia. Can you tell me a little bit about this piece? I was inspired by several pieces of Victorian clothing that I saw on the internet, uh, especially the back. I took an idea right from a dress I saw, and then I just kind of made up the little uh, top of the corset with the keyhole opening. And uh, just started pulling pieces in from different areas, and uh, a little bit of uh, pattern that I had, and then I draped some of it, changed some of it. It was really, it created itself. Wow, how cool! Thank you, That's wonderful. Thank you. So, this is the detail you were referring to? Uh, no, on the front is the front. Uh, really different. Oh, yeah. For the key. Uh huh. <laughs> Very cool. Think of metal. I don't want that you made because I want that right. Okay. I dare say you made what you're wearing as well. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.